Hi, I'm Simon. You might have seen adverts for this product called Extra PC, which sort of says that you can get an old laptop like this very old IBM Lenovo ThinkPad. Um, this has got the balloon screen of death, and this is a device which allegedly will fix computers like this. So let's see if it works. Taking it out the packet. This is the um, 16 gigabyte version. Seems ample for an, an old computer like this. And it wasn't really clear what the gigabyteness sort of referred to. I mean, is it using the USB as a as a hard disk or somehow as, as RAM? Um, let's see. So I'm gonna click uh, interrupt setup plus the think vantage button as well. Um, yep, so you click F1 to enter the BIOS utility setup and um, a startup option there, um, boot mode, quick. Well, hang on a second, I've got a bit lost here. Um, boot device list is the one, enabled. Okay, um, okay, cool, so press F12. So that's during setup. Um, so I actually did go into the wrong bit there. So anyway, I'm going to uh, save and exit, which is F10. Now when it boots up, I'm gonna press F12 to go into the options for um, the boot drive. To make the boot drive, the extra PC memory stick. Cool, USB. Da, da, da. The moment of truth. So I've selected that. Da, da, da. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, so it looks like extra PC does not actually work. So I've been stuck on this sort of um, cursor thing with the extra PC being used as the boot drive. So um, doesn't work as a boot drive. I'm pretty sure in the adverts it said that it could be used as that. Let's try booting from the normal hard disk and um, maybe it makes a difference. So I've turned the computer on and off again. Um, it's now booting. Um, let's open Windows, start Windows normally, because extra PC is plugged in. So, hopefully, oh, it's not worked again. Hmm. So, curiously, I did actually check the hard disk for drive corruption, as it says there, and uh, it wasn't corrupt. So, uh, hmm. So in conclusion, um, extra PC is it's not that good. Um, you can see it's, it's plugged in here. Um, it's sort of a claim that it, it gets uh, almost dead computers going again. Well, it's just not true. This is a very good computer, an IBM Lenovo laptop. Um, worked very well until I got this blue screen of death thing. Um, so yeah, extra PC um, doesn't work. Um, that's... Uh, $53 that I'm uh well I might just try and ask for a refund but yeah all these YouTube videos with the uh what I don't know there are a couple on on the internet with people using this and it being like a miracle thing to get old computers working again but um for me hasn't hasn't worked disclaimer this is a computer from about um well I don't know it's older than a 2011 computer and this does say and it doesn't seem to say on the website at the time of recording um, anything about it not working on computers made before 2011. Um, so, yeah, bit of a disgrace, really. Um, wouldn't buy this product. Extra PC does not perform miracles, and uh, for me, didn't work and was a waste of time. And <laughs> Thank you. Just checked my CPU, kind of, how many bits is it? 64, 32, it's actually a 32-bit processor so went into the BIOS looked up the 
Intel sort of serial number or the model number um, L2400 and Intel say that it's a 32-bit processor and that's probably why this extra PC thing isn't working. Now it's annoying that on the extra PC website it doesn't really say choose this one for 32-bit, choose this one for 64-bit um, and they seem to have three options uh, which have a number of like gigabytes in their specification, um, they've just gone for the lowest common denominator and gone, well, most of them are 64-bit computers nowadays. Let's make them all 64-bit memory sticks. Um, so, yeah, basically, that's why it doesn't work. So, yeah, it's a shame. Um, really thought this product would work. But um, extra PC um, is a fail. And the, probably the reason why you don't hear that much online is that they offer a refund if you're not entirely happy. So, um yeah, there you go. Um, I'll have a broken PC a little bit longer, unfortunately.